Hello guys, uh, welcome to my channel. I'm very excited to share with you uh, this new topic. Um, so I'm going to start a, a series of video about Django in production. So I will, I'm going to show you how to deploy a Django application in real world, a Django application in a production environment all right so i will be using ansible for that why because uh this uh for this uh, channel is focused on automation so instead of doing uh doing it manually but we are going to automate all the process in order to do it automatically and for that i'm going to use ansible but also Terraform uh, to provision the server. Okay, so here we have Terraform. Uh, I'm going to use Terraform to provision an Ubuntu server in a Linode cloud. Okay, and a, once the server is uh, up and running, I will be using Ansible to configure all it, all, all all the packages and uh, to do all the configuration. You know, installing packages, uh, also our project, Django project, and, uh, you know, and the databases, uh, installing all the, the Django dependencies for, for the app to, to, to work properly. And, uh, yeah, also I will be using Ansible to deploy the application. Okay. Um, let's go to the Django official documentation. Uh, remember last time we did um, a, 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 a Django, we deploy a Django application. And uh, remember we use this feature run server because Django comes, uh, comes with uh, this feature to, to deploy the server. But as you can see, in the official documentation they said do not use this server in a production settings okay meaning in real world we don't use run server okay and um why it's uh, it's not uh it's uh it was it's not designed for that it um it's not meant for production it's not safe enough okay to to use it in a production uh, environment and uh, there are other alternatives uh, here in the official documentation they say we can use for example uh, apache server and mode whiskey so Apache in combination and with the mode whiskey we can use it to deploy Django in production all right um in my case i'm going to use another alternative i'm not going to use this uh, i'm not I'm, not I'm not going to use apache okay i'm going to use uh, nginx and i found a very interesting uh, tutorial this is a digital tutorial as you can see how to set up django with postgres nginx and j unicorn okay on ubuntu um 2204 all right uh, i will put the link below because uh, <clears throat> i think it's a very uh, important to, to to check it by yourself and uh, you can go i did it manually uh, exactly and everything is working and uh, yeah <clears throat> but the, you know uh, this channel is focused on automation that's why i'm not going to uh, to walk you through the manual process okay uh, just follow the link and uh, try it by yourself and uh, if really you find it difficult and uh, you want me to do a video about it just drop a comment okay but i'm not going to walk you through all these steps instead i'm going to use ansible to do that okay and um, one more thing uh i'm not going also into much detail about ansible or terraform or django okay uh 
to be able to follow this uh, video, you need to have a basic uh, understanding of Django, uh, basic understanding of uh, Terraform, and basic understanding of Ansible. Okay, but later on, I will be uh, learning some videos, a series of videos about Ansible where I will be uh, showing you um, in details uh, from scratch how to, to work with the Ansible and also with the Terraform. But uh, yes, let me um, know in the comment to know uh, which uh, subject, which topic is more relevant for you so I can do a video for that, okay? But uh, in this video, it's an overview. I just want to show you um, how we can automate all the process, you know, um, from the provisioning and, uh, and uh, the configuration of the server and to deploy everything just to do everything uh, automatically. Uh, with uh, these tools, uh, Terraform and Ansible. All right. Now, let's go back uh, to the documentation. I want to show you another documentation, which is the Linux provider for Terraform. Okay. As I showed you, uh, I'm using Linux as cloud provider. So I will be uh, provisioning this Ubuntu server in Linux cloud okay and I'm not, I'm not going to do it manually i'm going to use terraform okay to provision this uh, server and terraform has uh, so many providers uh, we have aws we have a digital ocean and uh, so many okay for the Linux, this is the documentation and um, yeah so you need to to give the provider in the terraform uh, um, script and then uh, we have resources and data sources okay for the data sources is when you have for example uh, res already you have some resources in your Linux account and you want to grab some information then you use the data sources but if you want to create resources and new resources then you, you you came here to resources in our case what do we need we need to create a inst Linode instance okay i come here and then i have some example how to create uh, the Linux instances and uh, yeah you have many and uh, you can read about the argument you for example here the required one and the region the type are required and the other ones are optional okay um feel free to read the documentation to um <clears throat> if you want to know more about how to create instances linux instances with terraform all right now let's go back to our script our code i have two um two script here to code one for the variables and another one uh yes for the main one uh where we will be creating the 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 Linux instance okay uh when you start with terraform you have i have these two files and uh, to start as i said here it's the provider because if i'm for example, I, I was working with uh, uh, AWS. I, I, I need to put AWS here. Uh, if it's a digital ocean, I need to put digital ocean and so on. Okay, here I'm using a Linux. I put a Linux here. Okay, all right. And uh, also, uh, as I said, when you start the first, the first, the first command is to run Terraform init. But in my case, I already did it. That's why you have uh, this folder. When you 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 tap this command, and it will uh, initialize, okay, your Terraform uh, configuration, and you will have this uh, Terraform, uh, your this, this dot Terraform uh, folder, and with all the configuration inside, okay. And if you you run Terraform, and you will have this. Uh, uh, other files to 
to track the state okay to track the state now other things what do we need to know um let me show you okay here we don't need to um add code uh, uh all the values we need it's a it's a best practice to use variables that's what i'm using variable okay var var dot image dot image dot label uh because i have created the variables label image region and so on here i have uh, variable region and this is my region i have variable uh, label here i have so label this is the name okay the name of my uh, server in the uh, cloud in the linode cloud because here i'm creating a resource okay it's a linode instance this is the resource and here i'm giving the name this is just for the terraform okay the name for terraform but the name for uh, Linode Cloud is this variable, label. This is the name that will appear in Linode Cloud. Okay. Uh, right now, I don't have, I don't have any uh, server here in Linode. Okay. I can click here to create manually, but we are going to use Terraform to do that. Okay. Uh, and uh, the name. We are using here this label and the value is here will appear in Linode uh, GUI. Okay. And uh, this is the image I'm using Ubuntu. Okay. I need a public key. Uh, this is a SSH public key and this is the root pass. Okay. When I create a new uh, server or a new virtual machine in Linode, the default the default user is the root user. All right, and I need to give to 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 give a password for the root user, and also uh, in my case I need to to give a, 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 an SSH public key for the root user because after provisioning after creating the the server. And I will use Ansible to configure that server. Okay, as you may know, Ansible uh, use SSH connection. So I need a private uh, SSH key in my local computer, but I need a public SSH key in the server. That's why I'm giving here. But these are sensitive information, so I don't, I don't, I don't have to put. Uh, the value here I can't display them here then i will use um, uh, some uh, environment variable and i will show you for example here i don't have to show you but just for the demonstration purpose okay purposes and then i will delete them okay um to access your linode account you need some kind of uh, authentication so you need a personal uh, access token then uh, for me I have uh, saved the, 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 the personal access token in this in this file and then uh, I'm using the path just uh, and then I'm using this variable to export okay so otherwise you can copy and just paste here yeah? you can copy and then you paste here okay you can you paste the value and that's what I'm doing just here, okay? This means just cut. It will cut the value of this file, okay? Linode token, and it will assign to this variable, and then I will export, okay? Uh, also, for the, the other variables, we use tf underscore var underscore, then the name of the variable. For example, here, the variable, the name of the variable, I'm, is a public key and for the root passage you will do the same thing okay i did it already so i'm i'm, I'm doing tf da, uh, uh, underscore var underscore the name of the variable okay okay now i'm good to good to go uh, and i can use and have here i just destroy uh, 
uh, a, a machine. Okay, now after doing Terraform init, you can uh, do Terraform format just to to check the format. If, for example, uh, the the configuration. If for example, okay, I'm just going to show you. Let's say, for example, here, I'm going to say like this. Okay. Let's save it. And uh, here I'm going to format. Let's see what will happen. Okay. Terraform format. Okay. Can you see? Okay. So this is just to give, to format your code. That's what uh, uh, Terraform format do. Okay. And then we can validate just to check if the, the configuration is valid. Uh, because if the configuration is not valid, it the you 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 won't be able to to create your resource any, anyway so that's it's a good habit it's a good practice to to always check validate okay uh, validate all right so success the configuration is valid okay and now after validating we can plan okay and for the plan what is the plan or oh, the plan is to add one resource there is no resource to change and there is no resource to destroy there is just one resource that will be added okay which one okay uh this one will be added okay and uh, instance lido dot name dot uh web will be created okay and um and so on and so on okay you can see the label the name will be this this one and uh, yeah uh, the ip we don't know yet uh, because when it will create and we will know the the, the ip okay uh, just to summarize so we have the label the image and we have everything here the output okay uh, i'm creating the resource is this one i put linode instance and this is the name so dot the name okay uh, this this notation is called interpolation and then uh, i need just uh, an ip i want to display the ip of the the instance that will be created okay let's do that To create, we use the command terraform apply. Okay, let's apply. Okay, validate, yes. Okay. And let's wait. All right, it's done. So the server have been created and we can see this is the IP of the server that has, that has been uh, just created. Okay, and we can check it out in the Linode. And yes, we can see we have now the Django to do list. Okay, and the IP is exactly what we have here. Okay, now, uh, now we have our server i will uh, instead of using uh this ip i will link this ip to my domain name okay so to do that let's uh, first go to uh, my um, i'm using cloudflare where i have my domain name okay i uh, already did it but uh, i'm going then to edit uh with another noun let's call it to do uh, app Okay, and I will take this IP, this IP, copy it, and replace it here. All right, done. Let's save. Okay, we have saved. And here also go to domain. Okay, I have my domain. And I have to change also this uh, a record, 
edit okay call it to do app and here i'm going to change the ip with this new ip okay all right it's done all right and i can go back here now let me check if my domain name can be resolved okay let's say dig uh, to do app dot dev city dot net okay and check if it's gonna be resolved okay this is the answer and you can see my domain name is resolved to this ip okay meaning instead of using this ip for the server i can use my domain name right now because it has been resolved all right so um what we have done we have used terraform to provision an ubuntu uh, server in the linode cloud all right and in the next video uh we will be using uh, ansible to configure um, this uh, ubuntu server okay thank you for watching um, like the video and subscribe see you in the next video bye